What's up guys? Welcome to our video of the top 10 most anticipated games of the remainder of 2016. The first quarter has come and gone and we've seen some great stuff, but most of the best stuff is still on the horizon. So this is our top 10 countdown of the best games we can't wait to play in 2016. Number 10. Ratchet and Clank. It's been just long enough since the last entry of the Ratchet games that we're excited to step back into the world for the reimagining of the original entry in the series. It looks like an animated movie, and if it's got the same charm and incredible array of weapons, we should be in for a kick-ass experience. Number 9. Far Harbor and Blood and Wine, our two favorite games of 2015 are getting substantial DLC packages. The Witcher 3's Heart of Stone expansion was one of the best parts of the game, and Blood and Wine is supposed to be huge! And Far Harbor is Bethesda's first major DLC for Fallout 4. The two of these combined are sure to last much longer than some full games on this list, so they definitely deserve a spot on our top 10. Number 8! The gaming world was shocked at E3 2015 when we saw our first glimpse of The Last Guardian, the follow-up to 2006 Shadow of the Colossus and it looks every bit as epic as we could have hoped. Here's to hoping that it comes out this year, finally. Number seven. Coming in at number seven, we have The Legend of Zelda for the Wii U. So the Wii U hasn't been a great success, but this is Zelda and is now going open world. While part of me thinks they're gonna push this game to the NX, as of now, it is still slated for a 2016 release. This is the first home console Zelda game since Skyward Sword, and we think Nintendo knows what's at stake with the series as well as their reputation as a whole. Here's to hoping it's the game that puts them back in the spotlight. Number 6! Blizzard's new foray into PC and console first-person shooting is looking like it could be the next big thing. It sort of looks like if Borderlands, Team Fortress 2, and your favorite MOBA had a love child. And with Blizzard's excellent pedigree, it's hard to see this game ending up being anything less than stellar. Number 5! The Xbox One console exclusive Cuphead looks incredible. How has no one thought of this before? A 1930s animation inspired 2D platformer that looks like a dream and hopefully plays like one too. We want Cuphead to be brutally difficult and do justice to old school video games as well as it clearly does to old school animation. Number 4! We were blown away by the 2015 E3 announcement and trailer and while it's still slated for a 2016 release, all has been quiet since E3 but we're hoping they pull out all the stops this year with a release date and more footage to hold us over. We think it's a pretty safe bet, and Sony needs a major first party release this holiday season. Does Horizon have what it takes to be the console's next killer app? Number 3! It's been a long time coming since another traditional entry in the Final Fantasy series, and it looks like we're finally going to get the opportunity to see what Square Enix has been working on for many years. Will their foray into open world gameplay and real time battle mechanics be able to compete with the fallouts and mass effects of today? We'll find out soon, and it is about damn time! Number 2! Mr. Miyazaki has created a movement with the Souls games. Brutally difficult enemies, deep and absorbing gameplay, and absolutely no hand-holding or boring exposition. And don't forget the incredible atmosphere. The Souls games have become a phenomenon, and Dark Souls 3 looks to continue the tradition. We look forward to every painstakingly beautiful moment. Number 1! And here it is! Hard to believe we're just a month away from the release. Uncharted has become a legendary series of the PlayStation and everything we've seen so far has us drooling. Is this the last chance we'll have to step into Nathan Drake's shoes? If so, we're going to revel every minute of it. Thanks a lot for watching our video of the top 10 most anticipated games for the rest of the year. If you enjoyed it or disagreed or would like to have some input, let us know in the comments. And please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And if you haven't already, why don't you go over to Twitch and check us out over there. We're playing all kinds of different fun games. So once again, I'm Tyler. I'm Wiley, and this is Level With You. Peace.